Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. Um, this one is just a vintage collage journal because um, I've used a lot of collage papers from um, Artie Mays. Um, I've used some of my own papers as well. I'll show you that as we go through. I think it might just be the one page. But um, I'm just loving the green coloured um, kits that Artie Mays has brought out. Um, it's called the um, Collage taster kit and green she's got it in blue yellow purple and I do believe she's just brought out the pink one um, earlier on this evening um, so that will be fun to play with uh, so the journal measures eight with the lace it's eight and a half but obviously you know it kind of flaps around there um, by five inches it has one signature 40 pages front and back and it will be listed in my shop i do have other journals in my shop at the moment and there some of them are reduced in price um <clears throat> so if you want to check them out um so yeah let's get on with this so this is um now i'm artie maze has got some freebies in her facebook group called artie maze and friends i've used some of them and i'm not i'm not sure if that's one of them or not can't remember it might be from the the taster kit <clears throat> but i may have used um some of the um freebies as well um <coughs> excuse me it's all stitched we've got two layers of lace as you can see and it goes all the way around and that's all been stitched on as well um made a little topper um, there's tags inside this and if you have watched my previous video to this one um, I showed you how to make them a little craft with me video if you want to go check that out um, so we've got a vintage lady here we've got um, some collaging there with um, papers from Artie Mays and a butterfly <clears throat> the word vintage and this is a lace closure and it's stretchy stretchy lace and let's go inside let me just double check i'm in frame okay this is actually the three the freebie paper um from the facebook group art amazing friends and i just chopped a little bit off of that because um it is a full size page but i wanted it to be this size um which is i don't think it's quite five but the cover is five over explaining myself here <laughs> So I made uh, corner tucks, I used some Tim Holtz um, flower dies, if I can reach it, let me see, no nope, I can't, can I, yes I can, um, this one here and it is that number there, 664164, um, you get five dies and that's it there, what are they called, wildflower stems and it's got a hashtag too, so it's the second one, <clears throat> I know there's quite a few of them. Um, butterfly, some bling, um, little label there from one of Artie Maisie's kits. Then these, um, this is one of the tags that I made in the video, so I'm not going to over explain that. Because um, if you go over and watch the video and you'll see how I made it. So that's in there. Paper, papers have been coffee dyed. This is some um, French ephemera from the old design shop. You can find that on the blog. That's a freebie. And that goes in there. Then I, this is actually from the green t uh, taster kit and I shrunk it down to about 75% and made a couple of tags. I've done that with two sheets throughout and I went round it with the scissors and kind of, you know, made it like raggedy around the edges. Then I stitched this piece on so it's got a little border there and then just a tab. This is some French ephemera from Artie Mays. And I just inked that up. And that goes in there. So yeah, you can really tell I'm liking this green. We've got some coffee dyed papers to write on, pages I should say. Then we have a top tuck, just some collaging there. Butterfly bling, the word inspire. Again, this is from Artie Mays. Um, I think that might be from the taster kit. Then I used some ruby and pearl. Um, this is from her French ephemera kit, or one of them and I just used the journal cards in that. This is from Artie Mays from her letter kit, letter ephemera kit. So you can tuck things inside there in its um, envelope. And that goes in there. And then here we have again some more French ephemera from Artie Mays. 
and then this is from Ruby and Pearl as well and the paper there is the old design shop it's just paper clipped on there and then we've got another little envelope there from Artie Mace I can tuck things in there this is from um, <clears throat> Uh, one of my kits which you can find that on my coffee shop um, and I've just folded that over to make a, a tuck you could glue that down make it a permanent pocket this is from Eva's shop which is Bohemian Crafting then this is from Artie Mays from her letter kit and this is from Ruby and Pearl the old design shop some journaling space another big tag um, using not just caught on the cotton there using the pages from the green ta taster kit and just shrunk it down like i said um stitched all around and then you've just got this edge in here one of the pages from the kit or oh, was that from the kit that's the freebie that is the freebie then a pocket collaging some uh, lace trim butterfly some bling and that's another one of the tags i made in my previous video and then we have the centre of the signature and then we have another pocket collaging some lace trim cheesecloth butterfly bling and then another tag that I'd made in my video so like I said if you want to know about them then check out my video before another tag that I made with um, the shrunk down pages and here we've just got a little tuck inside there we have this from ruby and pearl this is from Artie mays this is from nick the booksmith and that all just pops in there again you could glue that make it a permanent pocket another that's the other side of my shabby rose that's what it's called shabby rose um it's five pages and like i said that is i'll link that below as well um nick the booksmith Ruby and Pearl, little flip there, flips out that way, that goes inside there, so you've got plenty of journal space, and this is from Artie Mays from the um, letter kit, another top tuck, which um, I've just done some collaging, this fabric on there as well, the word explore, butterfly and some bling, then this is from uh, Ruby and Pearl, <clears throat> excuse me this is from Artie Mays that's her letter kit and it comes with little bits so you can like tear them out um, so that you know it kind of looks more genuine here we have another tag stitched around that goes on there another piece of French ephemera no it's not French ephemera it's from Artie Mays's letter kit um, I don't know what the writing is it's it's um it's old <laughs> it's old and then another corner tuck used another one of the um the dies from the tim holtz and it was that one i used that one on the other one and we've got a butterfly that's from Artie maze inside there we've got another tag that i made um in that previous video and then another piece there from Artie maze's letter ephemera and i think that's it i think that is it and then that is the back and yes this is the freebie that you can get on Artie Maze's facebook group so that is the journal um love how this one came out and like i said this will be listed in my shop um check out the other journals that are on a sale not all of them just some of them um yesterday's journal still on there as well and do you know what i done i'm such a wally um i'd put the video on and i was actually playing on photoshop doing something else and it wasn't till about an hour and a half later that i realized that i didn't actually make the list in live um so yeah uh silly me <laughs> go remember do that with this one you know people and i had because it tells me like views and stuff like that i'd seen like people would viewed it i was like and, and then I realised that it wasn't actually live. So anyway, another boo-boo I made. <laughs> so if you have any questions, check out the video before this one. See how I made the tags. Um, yeah, 
I will speak to you soon. Bye.